It's the first play from scrimmage for the Dodgers, and they waste no time getting things going as Noah Gertler bounces it to the outside and picks up 30 yards and takes it all the way down to the Braves' 26-yard line. Then on the very next play for Madison, the give is to Pat Zimmerman as he bounces it to the outside, trying to outrun Braves defenders, and it's a foot race as he dives for the pylon and crosses the goal line for the touchdown, and it's 7-0 Madison early in the first. Newton has it back after the Madison score, and it's the Madison defense coming up strong as it's Dom Lapino with the sack of Nick Grant for the 11-yard loss. After Newton punt, Madison has it back on the Braves' 43-yard line, and again the give is to Pat Zimmerman, and this time he bounces it outside, following his blockers for an 18-yard run and a Dodger first down. Then two plays later, it's Pat Zimmerman again on the counter, bouncing it to the outside and getting out of bounds, but not before a 23-yard gain down to the Newton 5. Then on the very next play, the Dodgers would cash it in here as they give it to David Lutinger, and he would take it in from five yards out to make it 14-0 Dodgers, four and a half remaining left in the first. Mas Madison has it again here as the Braves go three and out, and they give us to Noah Gertler on the counter, and Gertler takes it to the outside for a 20-yard gain after being brought down by Sharon Brown to end the first quarter. Madison's inside the red zone, and they go to the air here, and it's A.J. Schmitz off the play action, finding Christian Scarpello, who makes a terrific catch, tipping the ball to himself, and he's able to get one foot in bounds for the touchdown, and after a Madison two-point conversion, it's 22-0 Dodgers early in the second. Madison's doing everything they have to to make states, and Madison's special team's coming up huge here as Zach Martin has trouble with the snap, and the Dodgers are able to come through in the backfield, jar the ball loose and recover it on the Newton 6 where they'll set up shop first and goal. Then on the very next play, it's Dodger quarterback A.J. Schmitz calling his own number and walking in untouched from six yards out to make it 29-0 Madison with 8-14 left in the second. Newton has it first and 10 on their own 30, looking for some offense, and Nick Grant goes to the air looking for Billy Conrad, but Grant throws it behind Conrad, and it's picked off by Christian Scarpello at the 40-yard line, where Madison will take over first and 10. On the very next play for Madison, it's Christian Scarpello again, this time getting it on the reverse, bouncing it to the outside, getting a couple of blocks before turning on the Jets and taking it 40 yards to the house for the touchdown to make it 36-0 Madison at the half. Late third quarter now with Madison still up 36-0. Madison is punting, but busting through right up the middle is Corley Bailey of Newton, blocking the punt and recovering the loose ball. But Newton will go on to fall to Madison by the final score of 36 to nothing. But the Braves will get ready to face fellow Freedom Division opponents, Lenape Valley, in their first home state game next weekend under the lights at Newton High School. You know, it, 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 Madison's a real tough team. We knew we had our hands full tonight. Um, you know, we still have a lot of kids injured. Um, but, you know, we try to tell the kids, hey, you know, regular season's over. Now you have the opportunity to go into the States and, and, and make, make a little bit of noise. Um, you know, we'll, we'll see if we have uh, our, all our kids back and healthy next week. But, you know, they're excited. We just got to let this one go and uh, come out and fight next week. Ben Kramer was not in the lineup tonight at home against Madison for the Braves, but he goes to the doctor on Monday. Jimmy Rabbit says things look good, and he hopes to be in the starting lineup next week against Lenape. Obviously, you know, Ben's a great player, um, you know, for his sake, and, and, you know, I really hope he gets cleared uh, to play next week. You know, he's, he's been tough for him to stand on the sideline. Uh, you know, he's itching to play. So, uh, you know, hopefully we'll get good news from the doctor next week, and, you know, if not, we'll just go out and, uh, go out and fight um, here Friday night. It's been the first time since 1997 since Newton's hosted a home state playoff game and look forward to the challenge next week at home against Lenape. It's uncharted territory for us, you know, and, and you know, it was one of our goals going into the season was, uh, you know, we wanted to make the state playoffs. So, uh, you know, we achieved that goal. So um, the kids will be pretty excited once they put this one behind them. I'm sure they'll be pretty excited next week.